Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my time at Sandrock. Today is Yan's birthday, so we're gonna give him our old bronze pickaxe as a gift. And also we need to make a copper pot for um Mabel. Pretty sure it's Mabel we need to focus on next. City Hall. Big thanks again for answering our survey the other day. Turns out many people are really stressed. <laughs> so we're going to build a cool thing that everyone can play on and enjoy, but we need your help. Go see Matilda at City Hall as soon as you get the chance. Letter from Ma. I forgot to mention your friend Nia has been around a lot lately. I think she really misses you. She says she's been sending you regular updates from Highland, which is good. I've been cooking her all of your favorites. Maybe one day she can visit and teach you. Keep us updated. Your father says hi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Written by Burgess, edited by Heidi. Safety is a priority in everyone's lives, but here in Sandrock, the wild frontier town, safety requires just a bit of extra effort to maintain. Most of, us, most of us do, as we're told, clean up after ourselves, avoid using excessive amounts of toilet paper, but there are still those who deviate, those who take big bites of spaghetti and allow the tomatoey pizza sauce to drivel all over their chins. Chewing with their mouths open and smiling rebelliously, and when you ask them to wipe the sauce away, they shyly, slyly utter, no. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, there are those who would dunk their heads in our oasis of reckless abandonment, sucking up all the minerals into their hair of follicles with no concern for our crops and thirsty children. Those who even park their yak mill in, in inappropriate places, these folks are known by the church as at-risk citizens of Sandrock or Arks. <laughs> But these deviants are not lost souls. Many of them do not wish to be arcs. In fact, you two can contribute to war on arcs by helping them change their arcsies ways. But the first step in curing the disease is to be able to recognize the symptoms. Identifying an arc. One, check to see if they have pizza sauce on their chins or elsewhere on their person. Two, is the person's head currently submerged in the oasis? Three, do they seem to have a disregard for rules in society in general? If you answer yes to one or more of these, you may be dealing with an arcs. But do not panic, an arcs can smell fear. Your first priority is establishing dominance. If you have a jacket or any loose clothing, try to finagle it in such a way that you appear largely <laughs> normally. Unzip your jacket and pull it out to your sides like wings. Arcs are easily intimidated creatures. If you lack the ability to enlarge yourself, climb the nearest tall structure and shout them from the top of it. In the direst of situations, you may need to climb on top of a cactus. Fight through the pain. From there, the next step is to strongly apply guilt to the subject. Ask some things like, what would your mother think if you saw you with all the pizza sauce on your face? And do you really think it's cool acting like some kind of rebel all the time? If these negotiations fail, it is best to simply escape the situation. Do not further engage the arcs. It is possible that they will turn you to the dark side and that's simply bad news. Amazing. <laughs> you were in the news again. You and a nice young lady named Heidi were at the front of the Free City section of the Windy Times, which is page six, but still pretty good. Are you going to be famous? Is Sandrock really turning around because of what you're doing out there? I'm so proud of you no matter what, but do let us know if you think you're going to be famous. We want to be ready if that, if for what for that if it's happening. Some of our neighbors have started asking about you. Your father's already made some coffee cups with your face on it that say number one builder. Oh my god. I thought t-shirts would be a better route, but well, time will tell. We've only sold one so far. To Nia. Oh, Nia. <laughs> Nia bought the cup. I think someone over at the Windy Times has started to take an interest in Sandrock's story, knowing that one of our own is out there doing their best to make changes over there seems to have really inspired them. Very cool. In any case, keep us keep up the great work. Glad to hear that you're making such huge leaps and bounds at your new job. I guess it's not really a new job anymore, is it? Uh, though, is it? Oh, and I'm so happy you're showing those Sandrockers what his Highlanders can do. You should cook them some Highland fried rice. You remember how to make it? I'll include the recipe just in case. Thanks, Mom. Yep, I'm gonna be famous. Just watch me, Mom. I'm gonna be the greatest. They're gonna be telling stories about me for years to come. Come on, Mom. I'm not gonna be famous. It's a pipe dream. I'm just trying my best to do my job as well as I can. Yeah, I think we're really turning things around here. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I think we're making a difference. We just want Sandrock to get better. I like this one. We'll do that one. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And now we got a recipe. Hello, little Kiko. I need you to go get more water, as you always do. Oh, how we doing over here, plants? Don't worry, I haven't forgotten.
Oh, right, we need straw. All right. What's happening right outside my home? Get cognacted. Ernest, yeah, we're doing that. Trial by kiln. Right, Matilda had something for us. I should really go check this out. Froggy Explorer pants! <laughs> oh no, we don't care for that right now. The froggy suit is so cute. Oops. I do need to go get more uh, ore, though. Can I upgrade at least one thing? No, I need two more bronze sticks. Are you kidding? No. Okay, fine. Let's look at our commissions, what we can get. Not a lot. Not a lot. Let's do rubber rings. Well, damn. Um, I don't have cantaloupe or coffee beans. I want to build my stable as well. Let's build four more of those. Fantastic news, Nuri. Uh -huh. You're being promoted. What? And your first task in your new position is to build and place a yak mill stop over by Gecko Station. Here's a diagram. Bye bye now. Do I get paid more in my new position? Huh? <laughs> well, uh, no. You'd be making exactly the same. What? Just with this additional responsibility, uh, it's more about the uh, prestige of being promoted. Whatever. I'll still do it. That's my builder. Uh, uh, in don't your call new me position. That. I'll think of a title later. <laughs> See ya. Mm-hmm. Hold it, hold it. I don't know if you know this newbie, but you're in access to the second page of the commission board now. You can take all sorts of requests in town. Now go make me, I mean, make yourself some more money. I've just picked up a photo. Yeah, no, I know about this. The fuck? Are we going to be picking up photos? Oh... One of Mort's lost photos shows Mason working on an old water tower. Wow. That's cool. Oh, right, the rubber, the rubber, the rubber rings. All right, so those two won't be done yet. So let's go do, okay, I guess we'll do that. Buddy. No, not the bronze sticks. Rough cloth? Bronze sticks and rough cloth. Good thing I killed out some of those yak mills out there. Alright, we got a lot going on. I think I do want to do banjo trouble. Let me go do the banjo one over here first, and then we'll come back for that other one. Being promoted, but not really. He's just giving me a task. What a jerk. Also, I want to try to build that stable. I think I have enough stuff to do it. Oh, Mint's still here. Does he just stay here now? Enough. I thought I made enough. Aww. So, can 
can we fish from this naturally or will we have to put fish into that, I wonder? Micro trips. Never mind. Yeah, I want to quit. Because I didn't have the hardwood sticks. Well. Kendra, what are you doing? Took two of the fish. Dang. That ball of paper. Oh. Can I have a look? I think it might be mine. He's so tall. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to litter. I'm sorry. I dropped it out of my window in a fit of frustration. Dropped earlier. it. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. It suddenly occurred to me that I'd written a particularly beautiful sentence on this piece. <laughs> I'm sure it seems strange to rifle through trash finding a single sentence. But to a writer, inspiration comes but at a moment's notice. But I couldn't remember what it was I wrote. Let me see. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Oh. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. No, that's awful. No one will remember that. <laughs> oh. What was I? The stars oh, glisten it. with the light of a thousand lives. A diamond, an oath, a promise. This sentence. What do you think? We're gonna flirt with Ernest because I do like him a little bit. He's a little. He's like a fail guy, and I love that. <laughs> I love that just a little bit. <laughs> you understand? Diamonds and stars. Had they had eyes, they would have witnessed the greatest of romance. Isn't it a lovely thought? Two options to flirt. I want to get to know your ideas even better, or I wish I was the only one you write poems about. No, we're going to say this one. That seems a little too forward, in my opinion. I feel like you already understand me. I'd like that, too. If I was writing for you... Oh, oh. A poem, I think, would be fitting. You got closer! A poem can express feelings far better than prose, for those with whom you are closer. Anyway, let me think. I really need some context for this sentence. Is this for your new book? No, unfortunately not. This is for a new job. Oh. I'm writing a column for the Tumbleweed Standard. Ooh. Since coming to Sandrock, I've... Uh, almost spent all of my savings. Yeah, I bet you have, writer, rich boy. I don't have much of an income before <laughs> each release. He's a little rich boy, though. So, in order to stay here and write my books, I need an income to supplement my daily expenses. And I... I can't just ask my family for more money. Oh, perish the thought. So, my wondrous, amazing, kind builder, I have a request. For the sake of helping those in dire straits, eating nothing but the specials at the blue moon. <laughs> Could I ask you for a discount? God, ten. Of, services? of course, but you'll owe me one. <laughs> Industrious, aren't you? Yep. Well, I was joking with you, but since you mention it, how about this? I don't need a discount, but I'll still repay the debt. How did Banjo get involved? How about a poem? Oh. A poem. It will belong to you. You'll own it. Totally non-fungible. Even if my sister sings it, well, she'll have to pay you royalties. You give me an NFT, Ernest? How about that? Does it sound like a good idea? Oh! <gasps> is that a blush I see on your cheeks? What the <laughs> hell? You're cute, you know that? Stop it, Ernest. Don't do this to me. I haven't decided who I want yet, but you're really tipping the scales. Well, today has been enlightening. Ah. Thank you so much for your inspiration. And also for keeping me company. But I really have to run. These articles don't write themselves, you know. Hmm. Wait, he's kind of cute. As the bridge was finally declared complete, a sudden sandstorm appeared through the haze, a figure, a silhouette, a frightening, a frightful image. Sorry, I'm just thinking of a novel. Any similarities are, of course, purely 
coincidental. So long, partner. I don't know. I kind of like that. I'm vibing with it. I don't know if I, he'll be the one, but I kind of like that. We could play around with our flirting. Oh, what's happening here? There's literally something right here. Oh, it's you. That's enough, Mr. RVO, was it? Remind me, <laughs> whose shop is this again? <laughs> Sorry, am I overstepping yet? I just feel there really must be a way for the two of you to work together. Mr. Mysterious, perhaps you just hadn't noticed this particular part yet. It's got a lot of potential. Oh my god. Surely this one is mysterious enough to add to your stock. Please, call me the mysterious man. Mr. Mysterious was my father's Mr. Mother. Mysterious. <laughs> but on the subject of mysteriousness, I'm afraid this pot could hardly be called mysterious enough for one such as myself. It's, at best, quizzical. Quizzical. It has never been my intention to have my work be confined to a singular aesthetic, much less a single word. If my wares are of no interest to you, then I believe we are done here. I have other orders to attend to. You think I don't know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh. You know, people don't come to this shop for the quality of the goods, right? You do know uh, why they come, Wow, you? you're being so weird. How dare you? Have you no sense of dignity? That's right! Hell, put him in his place, Amira! Just like we told her to. Yes! <laughs> hey, don't take it personally. Look, I've been around. I've seen the best. If I brought my guys from Walnut Groove in here to see this dull junk you're <gasps> peddling, they'd laugh their butts off at the mere notion that you're anything but an amateur. Why does this sound like Cooper, but a slightly different voice? And what is that kiln you've got back there? Looks like it's from the Stone Age. Okay, this asshole needs to get out of here. Hey! That's my sister's livelihood you're talking about there, pal! Quiet, Javio. Indeed. I use a traditional kiln. Glazing requires a kiln with more advanced temperature controls. So, you know all about it. What's your excuse then? Old ways are best? No, money. And besides, though a traveler as yourself may have encountered such things, the more advanced kilns are rare, and their construction is still a well-guarded secret by masters within the ceramics community. Well. If you're a true artist, go and seek one of these masters out. Get off of your high horse and beg if you must. Wow. Till then. What I a have jerk. no business being here, and you have no business acting as though I do. Then you get one for me. Why would I do that? You said seek a master. You're the so-called master of trade Ooh. who claims he can get any rare item from any rare place. Get me a new kiln, and I'll prove to you that my ceramics are as good as anyone's in whatever sky it is you speak of. You think I'm really gonna lug a kiln halfway across the free cities, just so you can maybe feel better about yourself? Nah. Get me a diagram, then. I'll have one built. What's in it for me? Uh, hey, have a nice chat? <laughs> You really can name your price. Interesting. Hmm? Oh, the local builder is here. One we of were them. just thinking about you. I'm going to need your help. Hey, I didn't agree to do anything yet. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Your friend here is very astute. In business, all things are conditional. And everything has a price. It is as you say, Miss Amira. I am a master of trade. There is no item too rare for me to find, but 5, such a service 000? comes at a cost. Five thousand golds? What? You're really not afraid of taking advantage, are you? You think so? Nah, <laughs> really. I'm taking it easy on you guys. You know what? I actually happen to think gray, non-glazed pots are pretty neat all of a sudden. Perhaps we ought to forget about all of this price gauging and... No, Avio. His price. It is fair. Is I shouldn't it? have gotten my hopes up. Uh-huh. Well, offer's on the table. 
If you decide you want my help, three I'll days. be staying at the Blue Moon for about three days. Come find me if you get the money. Or don't. Makes no difference to me. Wow. Am. Hammy. Amira. What should we do? <laughs> Not the close-up. Be quiet. Can't hear myself think. All our savings add up to around 3,000 goals. Maybe we could sell a few things, but... Are you really thinking of bankrupting us for our new kiln? Is it really going to be worth it? How do we know that mysterious man, if that even is his real name, isn't just blowing smoke up both our backsides? I don't even know if I have 5,000 gold. What if I just say that? It doesn't say I'll lose it, so I think they're going to deny me paying for it all. Wow, you do that for us? You're the real deal! That's a lot of money. Avio, please refrain from so flippantly putting us into debt. <laughs> Come on, Am. It's our friend. What else are we going to do anyway? Sell everything we've caught in three days? And ask Owen for help? And that guy has a crush on you. Oh, right, right. Owen does Could have a crush. weird. Hmm. When you put it that way, all right. We accept your generous offer. Perfect. 5,000 goals. So you really want to do this, huh, Am? Yes. Trust me, Avio. One of these temperature-controlling kilns will open doors for my shop and probably be a lot of fun, too. Thank you. You will be repaid in full very soon. Now, come, brother. Let us depart to the Blue Moon. Fetch the savings, if you would. Ah, yes, the savings. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Well, I hope it works out. Trial by kiln. Am I going? No. Mort, are we going to deliver uh, a photo to Mort? God, we have so many... Uh, so I gotta wait for the diagram. I, I'm making that. Let's take that off. We need to go to the city hall, but we'll do that after I go to more. Wait, no, there's something else. What is that? Oh, banjo trouble, right? Jeez, there's so much going on. Which is good. I'm glad there's a lot going on. What's happening with banjo? Uh oh. Get it off! Mabel! <laughs> He's doing it again! Ew! Did it piss on him? That's it! I want this cat gone! Out of here! Right this minute! Get rid of it! Why does he piss on his hat? Uh oh! So glad you're here! You like kitty cats, don't you? <laughs> well, our new friend Banjo here is in a bit of a pickle. See, he can't seem to stop marking territory around the ranch and everywhere in our homestead. Now my pa wants to kick him to the curb, but I know just what to do. Banjo just ain't got a place he feels like he can call his own, what with all the other animals getting their scents all over. I take it you've heard of a doghouse, yeah? Yeah. Well, I got together with Hattie on the issue, and we came up with something we're calling an animal house. I've got the diagram for it right here. Can you build it up for me? Maybe this will cure Banjo's affliction, and he can safely be a pet again. Sure. Swell. In the meantime, we can keep Banjo safe at your house. At least, till he's got a place of his own. Sure, come on. Great. I'll take Banjo over right now. I got a gecko. Oh, and before I forget, here's the diagram. How to tune your Banjo. At this point, would Fang be... I don't see him over here. Maybe he's just at his clinic on Sundays. Okay, Banjo, go make yourself at home, I guess. I guess. Please don't piss on my things. I'll cry. Cat piss is the worst. All right, let's see if Fang is home. I like his little clinic. It looks so cute.
Why isn't he here? Oh, wait, today's, uh... I forgot today is, uh, Yan's birthday. I forgot. Come here, cat's over here. What are you doing here, buddy? Oh, wait, you're helping- you help with the- You're so cute. X is not here. You, you think I'm here for X? Hmm. Hey, X. Speaking of. He said X is not here like I was coming for the bird and not him. <laughs> what? Thank you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, Zeke's here as well. Ah. <sighs> Here you go. This photo was taken not that long ago. Mason built that water tower by the oasis. Look at how tired he is in this photo. Must have been a lot of work. People were discouraged back then. It's fortunate that Matilda and Miguel came around to inspire a bit of hope. Not only did they inspire us, but they got behind projects that promoted the conservation of nature uh... and water. What's that phrase they're always spouting? In any case, Zeke? <laughs> they made sure we always had enough to drink. But the desert is still growing. Oh, Soon Zeke. everything will have dried up. Though I may not live to see it. People are leaving Sandrock again. <laughs> Only old fools like me are stubborn enough to stay. Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share oh. these old stories with someone who will hear them. Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. I will definitely. Wait, Fang, I love you. You're so cute. You're helping more. And Zeke's here as well. Isn't Zeke uh, Mort's son, I think? I might be wrong about that. Okay, um... Hold on. We have a lot of missions. First of all, I need to go to Yan and give him his birthday gift. I said I was gonna give him my old, like, brawn pickaxe, pickaxe, pickhammer, whatever. Whichever one I have. I hope he's just over here at the commissions. Hey. Hey, you know what? You did pretty good with that bridge. With that, you're no longer a newbie. God, where is it? Oh, huh? oh, there it is. There you go. Gift. <laughs> Ambitious, eh? Happy birthday, you jerk. <laughs> um, and I think we were trying to get Mabel up, so I'm gonna go make a copper pot for her. I forgot Owen does like Amira. It's a little awkward. Because I might also like Amira. Well, you know, it's so awkward because I need like 10 more of those sticks. On sticks. I also need to make a, just another processor. I think. Because we don't have enough, uh. We need, we need another one for sure. Basic leather and hardwood planks. Wait on this and put some hardwood planks on the thing. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna do a silly little thing. Wait, did I not make enough? There we go. 
rough cloths. I'm gonna go uh, do some, what's the word? We're gonna get some stuff. We're gonna go into the ruins over here and get some copper ore at the very least. we need it. We need it real bad. So I'll do this. I'll probably, I might finish out the level here because we're only on this one. A rage quit. It's a weapon. Chest there? What? I'm sorry, guys. Hello? There was just a chest here. What the hell? So we did get the weapon, and it's just a keyboard. Oh, it's so cool. You know, because of that, I might start putting points into the great sword. I think this is the heavy sword. So that'd be cool to use for a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna leave now. I mean, I guess I could mine for a little bit longer. We'll do that. I don't think there's an exit. I think this is just it. So I can clear out as much as I want now of everything. No problem. Alright, we're good to just leave now. I don't think, um... Oh, we can get that? Ooh. Why not? Why not get it if we can get it? You know what I mean? Alright, I think we're good to just leave now. Good to go back home. Well, I did not... I did not do the main story in any capacity, but we'll be sure to try to do those tomorrow. <laughs> I keep saying that every day, don't I? But it's the truth. We'll have to do it tomorrow. Can I make bronze sticks now? No, I need bronze. I need to do... I need to do the thing here first, and then we can make them. We should check our water supply after this as well. And what's going on with our crops? Oh yeah, we need water. ASAP. Lots of beautiful things have grown. Oh, two set oh a day, a day. Sweet potato and chilies from the sweet potato peppers. So we got. Let's plant, let's plant some more of those as well. Some sand leaks. Got some wheat. We're cooking with the Guardian now. I love it. All right. rough cloth? It seems like we do. I 
Okay, we need to set up... I'm gonna make ten of these. I can only make nine? <gasps> oh, shit. We'll have to farm for some uh, hardwood tomorrow. For now, it's really freaking late. It's really late. I'm gonna bring this episode to a close. I'll try to do one of the main stories tomorrow. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.